And now the public and private development centers ramped up efforts to further optimize the justice sector through the infusion of technology into court and correctional services. The call was renewed at the Access to Justice Party in Abuja yesterday, which saw the convergence of various actors, including the Minister of Justice, correctional officers, judges, magistrates, lawyers and other relevant stakeholders. Here's more on this story. The Access to Justice Pali held in Abuja on Tuesday as the Public and Private Development Center, PPDC gathered various key stakeholders in the justice sector to deliberate on the path towards ensuring a more efficient judicial process. The event also saw the joint launch of the court administration and case management and the reforming pretrial detention in Nigeria Phase 2 projects. The Minister of Justice Latif Olasukomi Fagbemi SAN, who was represented by Mr. Felix Ota Okoji, narrated the Minister's support and effort for the ongoing process to sanitize the justice system. The Ministry has also supported various states in implementing their own administration of criminal justice law, as well as those provisions of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act that has to do with federal institutions. In this respect, we have driven the implementation of Section 29, 33, and 34 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act that empowers magistrates to oversight the polices and detention facilities of agencies that are empowered by law to arrest and detain citizens. The Controller General of the Nigerian Correctional Service, Aliru Nababa, who was represented by ACG Gimba Dumbua in a speech, drove home the issue of congestion of the facilities and the need to tackle the matter. The Minister of uh, Interior has asked us to send all those inmates that has fine in all courts, uh, from all courts, from all custodial centers that has fine of one million, one million and below. We have submitted them and they are going to pay or they are going to offset this respective fine. So most of the uh, stakeholders or NGOs were pleading for you to apply or rather to go to respective custodial centers and effect payment. Some people you find out that somebody is fine of 10,000 naira, he is not able to pay. The keynote speaker, Professor Akinsheye George, SAN, spoke about the need to decriminalize certain offenses and ensure proper management of the court. I'm delighted that we have those who can make things happen here. Heads of court, attorneys general, you can make things happen. If a chief judge were to go back tomorrow, and I know some of the chief judges are already doing this, before a trial starts, there must be effective pre-trial case management. The parties come together. Who are the witnesses? How many days do we need to do this to conduct this trial? Effective pre-trial case management. And then we produce guidelines to that effect as required by our Administration of Criminal Justice Act and our Administration of Criminal Justice Laws. If we do that, many of the trials that are that, are, that have led to many of the inconclusive trials will not even start in the first place. Because at pre-trial, we can divert those who are not supposed to go through the whole gamut of criminal justice system. Speaking to Kaftan TV, PPDC Board Chairman Chibuzo Ekweku also stressed the need for an efficient judicial system. This is why we by voted to extend our programming to access to justice because without uh, an efficient judicial system there is really no better way of achieving consequence for wrong action and so the, the programs uh, first the CSM is to improve the effectiveness of the justice system improve uh, handling of uh, you know records within the court system improve scheduling of cases uh, improve management of evidence and of course with all of that improve persecution of cases and improve the timelines as required uh, under the ACJ. So uh, this is the primary objective and the pre-trial detention program is to help reduce the number of persons who are you know, uh, in pre-trial 
detention. The event saw stakeholders from private and the public sector chat a course on upgrading the criminal system in Nigeria with a focus on technological solutions and management.